Hey, how's it going, everyone? Welcome back to Mnix Place, Kathy Rain. Last time we talked to the president of the Black Cats, and in order for us to gain his trust, we must make him a Bloodier Mary. Um, and the Bloodier Mary basically consists of a normal Bloody Mary plus this red plant thingy. So let's go back there. Hey, what's this? Hello. Oh, hey, that's the other half of the picture that uh, guy. that Neil drew. Right? Guess no one's home. That wasn't here before. Neil's been here. What's this? But why is he here? What's his picture? A bald man dressed in red. Oh, creepy. Yo, isn't that the guy? A bald... Um, Why did someone leave this? No, we know what this is. We know exactly what this is. Okay, first let me let me pick up the flower. I want to go to Sorry Neil's place first, then. Flower, but I uh, I really need to make a drink. <laughs> Sorry, endangered flower. Oh, the squirrel! The squirrel's like, yo, dog, don't take my flower. All right, we gotta get out of here now. Okay, let's let's drop by Neil's place. Cause I'm kind of curious now about what's going on. Because uh, Neil is gone, right? Oh, it's. So did Neil get kidnapped or something? Is he still here? He's not. Yeah, what the hell? All right, I'm gonna need to combine the, the pictures. Um, combine this. That combination may no. Combine this with the drawing. Looks like Nathan knows the strange red man. Oh, he always knew I about need this. To talk to him about this. The red man. Okay, let's talk to mom first. Let's talk to uh, mean old Sue. Grumpy I had a, a Sue. Few more questions, Sue. She. Uh, the black hat. I don't need to ask her. The red man. Do you know who the red man is? Oh, that's just Nate's imaginary friend. The red man has been around ever since my boy was little. I see. So there's no actual person in town he could be referring to? <laughs> no way. According to Nathan, the red man hasn't changed in 30 years. Hmm. The met red man actually exists. I met him in the forest. The red man actually exists. I met him in the forest. What? That's crazy talk. Stop kidding around. I am not in the mood. I'm serious. Okay, she doesn't believe me, but I definitely saw him. I think I'm gonna head off. Sure thing. Will. All right, let's let's go back and make her drink. Who the hell is this red man? I guess that's that's the new mystery that we were trying to solve here, right? The Catmobile. I love wh wh why the way she called it, the Catmobile. That's a cool name. Cat Catmobile. All right, the black hats. More like the ass hats. <laughs> All right, here's Prez. Gotta make him that drink. Um, let's talk to the bartender and have him make us a uh, Bloody Mary. Hey, bartender, do you happen to know how to make a Bloodier Mary? You mean a Bloody Mary? No, this is something different. Afraid not, I can make your regular Bloody Mary though if you want. Yeah. Maybe later. Alright then. Okay, fine. Let's talk to him. Hey, Bo, I have- I'm listening. The Red Man. This may be a weird question, but- have you ever met a bald man dressed in red? I've made a few bald men red. That count? Nah, that's different. All right, uh, I'm gonna hit. How do, how, do I, how do I make my Bloody Mary? Impressive bob. Not sure where that leads. Um. Where do I go to make a drink? 
Oh, oh, oh. Can I go to... No, 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 no. Come back here. I have, I have an idea. I think I combined the flower with the bartender, right? I mean, the bl bartender can make me a Bloody Mary and I can just combine it. I think that's what I do. So I walk over and combine the red scythe with the bartender. I'd like a Bloody Mary. <clears throat> Coming right up. There you go. Oh, and add this, will you? Just something I like for flavor. Put it in a blender. Whatever you say. Nice. One Bloody Mary. Enjoy. You mean Bloody or Mary? Thanks, buddy. All right. The club will cover that, Jose. Sure thing, VP. Oh, he sees he's, he's again, the VP. Emmett. You got it. Nice. Emmett's a nice guy. All right, take the Bloody Mary. Can I just drink it? It's for Bo. Uh. Here's hoping it can make Bo a bit. It's a bloody. All right, combined with Bo. Hey, Bo, I've got something for you. I recognize that smell. You found your dad's recipe. Something like that. The pepper taste. Man, is this a trip down memory lane? I keep expecting Brian to walk in here any second. You know, all this nostalgia is making me remember how much I really owe your old man. Yeah? Yeah. So, here's the deal. Okay, in good. In 86, Carl, my VP at the time, came to me and said he had a job lined up for the club. Some guy had offered him good dough for stealing a bunch of paintings from a mansion. He needed two brothers for the job. Two brothers? I was busy with other things at the time, so I gave my permission as long as the club got the usual cut. He returned a week later with a nice wad of cash. I didn't realize it was Wade he had knocked off until I read the paper. If I had known that, I'd advised against it. Wade is a powerful man with friends in city council. There's no reason to piss him off. Got it. So what do you know about the guy who hired you for the job? Not much. Carl said it was some bearded preacher. Oh. Whoa, Isaac from the Church of the Holy Trinity? Could be. I don't know who that is. It was a priest. I know that. Holy church. shit. Thanks, Bo. I'm going to follow up on this right away. That's it? You're not going to ask me about what happened to your old man? Not even curious? Nope. <laughs> I couldn't give two shits about that asshole. Bullshit. Don't expect anyone to believe you're that angry with someone you don't give two shits about. Either he's dead or he abandoned me. Do any of those options look appealing to you? Mm. They don't, but you should know that no one from the club had anything to do with it. I meant it when I said Brian was a good brother. He had no enemies here. Not then, and not now. So what happened to him? to hear, Mr. President. Shut up and listen, girl. I'm trying to tell you something. Oh. Brian used to talk about heading to Mexico, about riding off into the sunset and getting away from all his newfound responsibilities. And I think part of him was serious. You deserve to know that there's a chance he's still out there somewhere. Sure. Let's hope that bastard is living it up somewhere. <sighs> Just take care of yourself, you hear? See, the press is trying to take care of Kathy. That day went by fast. I think I'm going to ask if I can stay the night at Grandma's. Okay. Let's go talk to Grandma then. Where are we going to stay? I guess upstairs in a room. Our old room, probably. Hello, sweetheart. Hi, Grandma. Hey, Grandma. It got kind of late. Would it be okay if I stay the night? Of course, dear. Have a seat. I'll make you something to eat. Oh, you're the best. I'm starving. Nice. Oh. Oh shit. More dreams. It's gonna be this bald red man. Yep. Oh, and it's the you kid. You see? You are both unwanted, both discarded. What the hell's happening? Good. Lick the flames, buddy boy. Lick the flames and feel the hatred burn. What? That's the kid who disappeared, right? Uh, it's a bald guy. Lily's painting, burning, and the kid from the cemetery. It's got to mean something. Yeah. All right, let's go into the living room first. 
there's a guy in here. Oh, Eileen's oh, here. Good morning. Hi, Kathy. What the morning? This is. So we are oh, on day this four is now. Quite the surprise. You have such <coughs> a lovely friend, dear. We've been chatting all morning. Oh, I have no doubt. She's quite the talker, this one. You sleep even longer here than you do back home. Oh, gee, must be the blissful lack of distractions here, E. Can I talk to you for a sec outside, alone? Okie dokie, if your grandmother doesn't mind being left all by herself for a while. Sure, you go ahead, children. I'll, I'll readjust right my here mic a little. Me. Okay. <clears throat> um, is the concept of personal boundaries new to you? Is the concept of personal boundaries new to you? That's a rhetorical question, right? Was a single morning devoid of Eileen too much to ask? I'm frankly surprised that I'm allowed bathroom breaks by myself with you in the same building. I was super bored. Besides, you never got back home last night. I wanted to make sure you were okay. Well, Eileen seems well, like a nice person. as you person. can plainly see, I'm not a corpse. You could be a very convincing zombie. <laughs> very funny. You can go home now, E. Fine. I won't tell you what I found in my research yesterday, then. Oh, wait. Kathy? Ugh, oh, I hate you. <laughs> I'm so glad you asked. I looked up a few statistics for this county, looking for any anomalies. First off, there's a high number of missing persons reports in the area. Hmm. That wouldn't be too unusual if, let's say, the county had a high crime rate. But it doesn't. Violent crimes are actually lower than in other comparable counties. Huh. That's just outright creepy. It is kind of creepy. It gets even better. It turns out that this county has the highest number of clinically insane in the state. And guess what? Conwell Springs County is tiny. Per capita, the difference to the county in second place is humongous. Over a thousand percent. Wow. That makes some sense. I found out that this cocky person is locked tight at Ingstrom's. Wow. We should go talk to him, right? He must have some answers. That's the plan. I should probably fill you in on the rest I found. Yeah, maybe Eileen knows something. So, I'm gonna head over there today and confront Isaac about the paintings. Don't you think it's a bit risky, Kathy? It could just backfire and piss him off. Oh, I'm hoping it will. Nothing wrong with some good old provocation to make people show their true colors. That is true. You never gave him the picture of the lights, right? Nah, I didn't want the guy to faint. He sounded pretty brainwashed about the Holy Trinity thing. And none of the church people know who I am, right? I guess not. So? My point is that you grilled the priest good yesterday. You already tried it your way. I'm a fellow Christian. Maybe I could try something different, like make up a cute cover story and pretend to want to join their church. Oh yeah, if that could work. If he won't trust me, <clears throat> I can show him my copy of the picture. Maybe it will make him open up. I suppose it would give me enough time to drive back to the city and talk to Jimmy before it gets too late. Hmm. Yay! Oh, let's do it! I'm so excited. I can't wait to lie to people. You know that's a sin, right? <laughs> oh, I'm sure Jesus will make an exception this time. After all, he loves me. I'm well. not going to waste any time then. Let's catch up on the phone tonight. Okie dokie. Talk to you later. All right. So I guess we're not going to the church? What are we doing then? Where are we going? Oh, we're going to talk to Cocky. Okay, okay. Hello, Jimmy. I've been looking for you. Oh, is it for real this time? Yes, this is all very real. So you're going to ask me about Joseph now? How do you know that? Who told you? What? You did. Every time you came here. What? You're not making any sense, Jimmy. We've never met before. I'm making perfect sense. Everyone says so. I'm the sharpest tool in the shed. What's going on? All bets are off now, Missy. Better buckle up and enjoy the ride. Forget all the rules. No going from top to bottom. No checking off all the items on your list. Start by asking me about the young chronicler. The young chronicler? Who's that? Red man? What do you know about the man in red? No, that's not... That's not the chronicler? Lily Myers. Was Lily Myers the chronicler? A drowned girl, yes. 
She saw the loops, the endless possibilities. She found that the branches had all been severed. Nothing but inevitability remained, staring her right in the eye. What? In the end, she was pulled across the great threshold, just like I was. I was next. Next for what? You're not listening. I'm next. I don't understand. What happened to you, Jimmy? Why are you in this place? I'm not. I'm six feet under, looking up, watching reruns without a care in the world. You know, Joseph was a beacon. His passing sent ripples traveling in all directions, touching all of us with burning intensity. In my case, resulting in immobilizing guilt. After all, I sent him out there. It was all my fault. I still don't understand. What, what did you ask him to do? Be patient. We'll get there eventually. We need to follow the rules. Let's continue, ironically, with the men who break the rules. Okay, so that's uh, the Black Hats. You mean the Black Hats? They're the men who break the rules? Indeed. Your father broke every rule in the book, did he not? That's a mild way of putting it. I feel your pain. But you will be free of him soon enough. Free of him? I've seen you atop a great pit, dropping the last remaining memento of him into the empty blackness below. The lighter. Your mother, on the other hand. That's a story with a different ending. You know Mom? How... how is she? Why don't you see her yourself and find out? Uh... It's complicated. The last time we met was... ugly. Looking away... Won't make it any less ugly. Man, Jimmy know, Jimmy Cochran speaking truth yet. here. Very well. Let's go see the man you reunited with his family. The man you re reunited with his family? <clears throat> what? Church? What can you tell me? No. Church. The man reunited with his family. The red man? The man in red? Is that who you're talking about? Yes, indeed. Who is he, really? The collector of souls. The one who beckons and prepares. Some call him a spirit guide. Others, he's the devil, devil dressed in red. You are doing so much better than the last time. Now, ask me about the first thing you can think of. Uh, Grandpa. What happened to my grandfather in 81? Oh, poor Joseph. Wrong place, wrong time, wrong friends, wrong life. An unstoppable Everything force. Everything went wrong, I guess. An immovable object. There had to be course correction, Kathy. The house always wins. What did you ask him to do? I asked him to find the source and destroy it. For me, for Lily, for all of us. The source of what? Everything. The madness. The betrayals. The limitless suffering. How huh. would he do that? I don't know. Joseph had a plan. He had allies. Allies? Who? The man in red. The man Someone in red was too. on uh, the I found grandpa's the side? You left for grandpa. You said, it happened to you too. What did? Needing the lights, of course. Don't you have my picture from the night in the forest? Oh. Oh, yes. They felt so warm, so comfortable, luring me in. But when they got close, I could feel my mind split in two. I found myself with one foot on either side of the line, the thin line between hell and here. It felt like breathing through my nose with my mouth underwater. No wonder some sink beneath the surface, never to be heard from again. Was that what happened to Joseph, Jimmy? Did he sink to the bottom? I wish I knew. I'm just a man stuck with his ear up against the wall, picking up a word here and there. What the I'm hell is so going tired, on? Kathy. I can feel the lights even now. Endless static in my head, like a TV tuned to a dead channel. But what are they? Where do they come from? 
the cradle of obscurity, the alpha to our omega. Oh, this is making no mirror. sense to me. Why are you constantly speaking in riddles? Why do you assume I have a choice? We are nearing the end. Ask me about the misguided faithful. The misguided faithful, the church. Is the Church of the Holy Trinity the misguided faithful? They are, yes. What makes you call them that? Isn't it obvious? They believe the lights are divine. But it's actually the devil? The lights are neither divine oh, nor more unholy. unholy. What? They are but a twisted reflection of us. The judge and the jury are innermost child. Our greatest fear. Everything we long for and desire. It's more than most of us can take. The cup runneth over. How do I stop them? You must go to their birthplace, their source. You must go to the cradle. The graveyard? It's the only way to save your friend. What? Are you talking about Eileen? Yes, she is being claimed. She's in great danger. You have to go back, Kathy. Less. I need more than that, Jimmy. <gasps> Nurse, help! What? I guess we're going back to the church. I need to find Eileen. Uh, okay. Eileen isn't here. She said she was it's going to the church, right? Okay, let's check the door. Locked. Can I use the key? Nope. Not the right key. How about that one over there? Where would Eileen go? The graveyard. That's my next next train of thought. Oh! What the hell's this? That's his father? William T. Price. So that's Father Bill. Looks more like a businessman. Price, than a that's a mausoleum. Leader. I wonder what the church was like back when Father Bill was in charge. Just old furniture and boxes filled with random junk. Maybe this church sacrifices people. Just old furniture. Schedule. Nothing unusual, just a schedule of typical church events. Um. Desk? Let's search it. Found a large old key in here. That might be the hey, key to the other what room. what are you doing in here? Uh-oh. Cut the bullcrap! Where is she? Where's Eileen? What in the Lord's name are you talking about? Red-haired girl, I know she came here to see you. Tell me where she is, or I'm calling the cops. I don't think that's quite necessary. Breaking and entering, are we? Uh... It, it's not what it looks like. Oh, really? Is it some kind of optical illusion? If you just listen for a second, I can explain. You can explain all you want through the bars of a cell. Hands behind your back, now! God damn it. You better hope that Father Price doesn't press charges. I want my phone call. <laughs> Can't hear you in there. You are such a fucking prick. Enjoy your little vacation. I know I will. What the hell? Well, this blows. And I smell like goober. Uh, Fan-fucking-tastic. All right. Um, can we break I need out to get somehow? Out of here. Who knows what that freak is doing to Eileen right now? Open Locked jail door. Tight. Solid steel. There's There's a mop. Looks like the mop is within reach. Maybe I can make some use of it. I saw Lenny put my stuff in there. Let's pick it up. Okay. Now what? TV. That combination make Not Evidence a bad bag. idea, but it's just out of reach. On the bulletin board? Hmm, worth a shot. What does that do? Oh, okay. Oops. A 
A bunch of documents, some pins. Oh, paper clips. Nice. These paper clips might be useful. And I can try to pick the lock. Okay, let's combine our paper clip with the jail door. Not a bad idea, but they can't be used for that in their current form. Oh, we need to bend it somehow? Um. These are probably robust enough. Okay, so let's okay, bend it. Let's see if I still got it. Yeah, of course Kathy knows how to pick perfect, a lock. But they should get the job done. Okay. Oh shoot. Okay, so we So I think we start from inside, right? How do we do this? So we do this first. No, this one, this one, this one, this one. Okay. Here, 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 here. Okay, here, 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 and one. That should do it. I'm so good. We are very good indeed. Let's take our evidence bag. Okay, got all my things back. The key I found in the church, too. Okay, good. Oh, huh? what the hell's happening? Hoax in jar. An inkier heart. Rule me, nemesis. What? What the hell? Hopes in that jar. Grab too some heavy to tools? carry around. Just a but Hopes in jar. A computer monitor. I'll need a key. Maybe hold on, hold on. Can I use my key in the evidence locker? God damn it. I'm clicking too fast. I don't see how those things work. Okay, so the key does not work with it. That action doesn't seem... I... I mean, how are we supposed to escape? Can I escape? I can? No one's around, it seems. Okay, we're getting out. Do we go back to the church? Good thing the bike was still where I left it. Kinda need to go back to the church, right? No one's here. Let's try to get in here. Combine the key with the door. Nope, not the right key. It's not the right key? Hope in jar. What happens if I open this? Is the guy still here? No, he's not. There they are again. Oof, no corpses, just a... Okay. Nothing interesting in the... Nothing suspicious. Locked. Locked. So can I try and unlock it with the key? Nope. Not. What about this key? Nope. Okay. Books on spirit. A photo of a younger father, Bill, with two boys. Okay, well, nothing suspicious here. I guess we're getting out. Where do I need to go? The graveyard. Oh, the graveyard. Price. That's right. The mausoleum. Okay, this looks like it. Okay, let's try to enter. Locked. No problem. Key. Combine key with the mausoleum. 
This will probably get me in. Yep. And there's Eileen. I did what you asked, Father. But something is different about this one. It's not taking like it should. She may be protected. Yes, we'll just have to wait and see. What the hell? More souls then. Yes, they all deserve to bask in the glory of God. Okay, so he, so the priest is evil. Can I taser him? Hey, what's that? Eat this. <sighs> nice. Is she okay? Eileen? Oh shit. Shit. Snap out of it. No, God, it's happening again. Just like it did with Grandpa. What did he do to you? Oh, fuck. Okay. Joshua David Price, born June 8th, 1961. Died September 5th, 1983. Isaac's brother, perhaps? Agatha Price. William Thomas Price, born Father Bill himself. What do I do? Can I search him? He had a key on him. Key with tag. A small key with a tag attached, labeled Storage A5. Maybe there's a self-storage facility in town. Storage A5. Oh, shit. It looks shit. a lot like the key I found in the attic. Maybe they're somehow related. Combine? Hey, these keys are almost identical. They must open different storage units in the same facility. Okay. That grave is blank. Henrietta and Father Bill. Ernest Edward. Agatha Price. Barbara Price. Arthur Price. Arthur Price. Isaac Jerry. The death date is left blank. He's knocked out cold. Um, let's untie her. Let's get these ropes off of you. God. She's catatonic. Damn it. Breathing, but un. Wake up, e I can't just leave her, can I? Oh, let's tie up Isaac. That should do it. I better go get help before he comes to. So, where, where, how do I get help? The sheriff? Okay, okay. Can I stun him again? He's had enough. I wouldn't mind. I don't see how. Um. Okay. All right, we'll take it from here. Should we bring, what's her name, to the clinic? Eileen, and no, she's not physically hurt. It's just shock. That's all. I'll take care of her. Please, just drop us off at Grandma's. All right, then, but don't think you're off the hook for that stunt you pulled at the station. <laughs> Considering the circumstances, I'm going to refrain from hauling your ass back to that cell. Yo, it was his fault. You better not leave town until we've sorted all this out, or you can look forward to a statewide APB. Got it? That's more than fair, Sheriff. Thanks. Good. Come by the station when you've dropped off your friend. We'll need to take your statement. I will. Oh, what is going on? It's my fault this has happened to her. No, it's not. You know exactly who's to blame. That vile man behind bars or whoever is pulling his strings. Go there, find out what he knows, and get to the bottom of yeah, this. Yeah, we need to talk to him. It's too late for Joseph, but maybe she still has a chance. Well, I'm sure as hell not going to wait here for her to rot away. Good. She'll be safe with me. All right, then. I'm off. Oh man, this sucks. It looks like there's still quite a bit more story left though. And what happened to the red man? The red man was in our house. Okay, we need to go to the sheriff's station. Hey, you're back. I am. You guys want my statement? Yeah, the sheriff is waiting for you. Okay. All right. 
What do we do? We tell them about supernatural shit? Let's talk, Sheriff. And that's when I found that creep with her tied up in the crypt. Jesus. I had my suspicions about that church, but I never thought it went this deep. Yeah. So, what happens now? I'll call the judge and get a warrant. If we find anything else, that bastard won't get away with it. Okay, can I go talk to him? Go ahead. Ask Lenny to go with you if you need him. Will okay. do. Think nothing. Let's talk to Lenny and have him go with us. Shit, man. Hey, Lenny. Hello, Kathy. Um. Nah, I don't want. Eileen. They already arrested Isaac. They're the red man. Do you man. know anything? You're... Oh. Well, gotta go. See ya. Okay, let's go through the double doors, and let's talk to this guy. Oh, hello, Isaac. Hello again, my child. I hope you enjoy that cell as much as I did. For a man of faith, this is a room fit for a king. Speak what you will. I have all the time in the world. Um, storage facility. Let's start with that. I don't need to ask him that. Let's show him the wisps. Oh, no, here. What do here. you see in this photo? The sign of God. The conduit. Conduit of what? Oh, you'll know soon enough. Uh, what the hell? Who is the man dressed in red? No one that concerns the likes of you. Wait, so you do know something about him? Certainly, but that knowledge is not to be shared with unbelievers. Huh, Eileen. Tell me what you did to my friend Isaac. I offered her to God, and the Lord accepted her with open arms. Took her soul. She's part of his world now. You're not talking about a Christian God. Of course not. I'm talking about the old God, slumbering in the darkness beyond. What are you saying? You offered Eileen's soul to this God of yours? She is but one of many. I guided them all to the stairs of judgment. Wait, so you were responsible for all those people disappearing? Going crazy? All I did was bring them face to face with God. If they chose to reject him, they were beyond redemption. Ah, oh, you son of a bitch. What is your church really about, Isaac? What are you trying to accomplish? The same as any other church. All we want is the salvation And the thing is, I think he actually believes all By of this. By any means necessary? Clearly kidnapping isn't out of the question. Unnecessary evil. I look at the bigger picture, the greater good. One day you'll understand. You are quite obviously brainwashed. I'll stop you, if it's the last thing I do. You can try, child. I have God on my side. Uh, we need to do something. Why did you have Lily Meyer's painting stolen? Because Charles Wade isn't a man keen on sharing. Ugh, fine. Let me put it this way. Why did you try to get your hands on the paintings? Lily was special in God's eyes. A chronicler. A chronicler, a that's what wisdom. Cocky called him too. As an emissary of God, it was my duty to unlock the divine knowledge in her work for all of mankind. Oh, and the paintings are probably in the storage what do you facility. What know about Lily Myers? Oh, the drowned girl is a conundrum. In life, part prophet, part mender. In death, ascended, united with the holy conduit. Did you have something to do with what happened to my grandfather? Alas, I did not. At the time, I wasn't enlightened, and neither was my father. But Grandpa showed the same symptoms as Eileen. Then he was claimed by God without my guidance. Praise him. God damn it. Let's show him the key. I don't need to show I could, but I'd rather not tip him off. You know something about- Oh, yes. A link to the divine. They help by preparing the body for unity with God. Oh, so you need so to take that flower. you people with it? Such a crude choice of words. It has been one component of my sacred work, yes. <laughs> Such crude choice of words, but yes, I did. Oh, there's nothing else to show him. I'm done here. Good. Go oh, repent, sinner. And fucking Isaac. We need... Where do we need to go? Where do we go? church grandma 
The nature reserve. Is there anything here? No. The storage facility. Where do I find the storage facility? Cemetery. Church. It has to be this church. It's probably this door. What happened to our key? Locked. Let's try this key. Nope. No? This must open. Storage unit. What happened to that big key of ours? Oh, that opened the mausoleum. That's right. Uh, I'm confused. It's an altar. It's an altar. You know the place. Okay, let's open here. There was a locked cabinet in here, but I can't imagine that's what I'm looking for. Closet. Cabinet. Nope. No, that's not right either. Where else could we have storage units? Police station, maybe? Evidence lockers? I can't imagine they would put it in the evidence locker. Storage... Let, let's, let's ask the sheriff if he knows anything about storage units. Let's talk to him. Hello, Sheriff. My um, storage facility. I don't need to ask. No. I don't need to ask. Do you know anything about? What the hell are you talking? Never mind. They already arrested Isaac. That's all. Good. Let's ask Lenny if he knows anything about a storage unit. Grandma might know, actually. Hey, Lenny. Hello, Cap. Okay, I asked well, them about the storage ya. facility already. I think Grandma's the person that we need to ask. There aren't that many people in this game. Grandmama. Any chance? Sadly, no. Mm. Okay, let's talk to her. There are a few very well. Storage unit. I don't see a re- No, she wouldn't know? How is she? The same. Don't worry about us. I don't see a re- You know what I could do? Okay, I could look it up on the phone book. I could look for storage facilities in a phone book. This is a small county. How many storage facilities can they really have? Right? How many could you really have? Storage facility. Okay, there's a place in town. Got the. Okay, so we got the address. Nice. Oh man, this. You know what? We need to go look at the storage facility, but I am going to leave it for next episode. Um, things are getting intense, man. Eileen, Eileen says, uh, gone to the other side, and we need to figure out how to help her out. I I don't know. This is uh this sucks, man. It sucks. Um That's it for this episode though. Thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. As always, if you did, you can leave a like on this video and subscribe to my channel for more daily updates in the future. Otherwise, uh, keep in touch, guys. And I'll see you guys next time. Mm, bye bye.